Most Singaporeans Media Corp spoke to say they will continue to use ATMs despite the latest fraud which hit 400 POSB and DBS customers this week. They also expect the bank to beef up ATM security to prevent a similar incident in future. These two ATMs in Bugis Street were compromised of a three-day period in late November last year. It's believed that customers' card details were stolen and copied onto fake cards, which were then used to withdraw cash amounting to half a million Sing dollars in Malaysia. DBS said these two machines are back in operation after an island-wide check on its ATMs. Customers say they are not bothered by the fact that the machines had been compromised. Oh, it's okay. It's good. It's not an issue on the ATM side. Lah. It's the control behind it. Experts have advised bank customers to observe signs of tampering on the ATMs, such as unusual installations or fixtures, before making cash withdrawals. But most people Channel News Asia spoke to are clueless on what to look out for. Mm. No, how, how to check, I also don't know. Some customers were not even aware that there are anti-skimming devices installed on the ATMs. Oh, the green one? What device? If that device really works, this incident won't happen. DBS has advised customers to change their PIN frequently, but this idea didn't go down too well. Chain number, but I'm afraid that I can't remember the number. You know, everyone has so many numbers to remember, so many passwords to remember. I think it's difficult. Most of us stick to the PIN number, you know, nearly forever. Lah. Some suggest that the bank could beef up its ATM security with additional features. More secure method, that means uh, beside PIN, you need the time print, uh, uh, double protection. Most people say, ultimately, it's the bank's responsibility to safeguard customers' money, and they want banks to step up security measures to prevent similar incidents from happening again. Well, information security experts say the battle against card-skimming scams is one to be fought by both banks and customers. While banks should continuously improve their information security systems, customers should also be vigilant. It's an endless race. And experts say banks need to stay ahead of the game, even as hackers are innovating. Enhanced level of security normally would, uh, and, uh, what they call, include, what they call, two level or three level of security. And the idea is, for example, a card is one level, your PIN is another level, and a third level possibly could be biometrics or could be SMS authentication that comes back to the user. Again, it is not foolproof, but by having multiple levels of barriers of uh, authentication, that will make it more difficult for an uh, intruder to try to uh, uh, do something uh, illegal. Experts recommend that consumers also stay vigilant to protect themselves from card skimming scams. On Friday, DBS Bank said about 400 customers fell victim to the largest ATM fraud the bank has ever experienced, with half a million dollars stolen. Explaining how it could have happened, experts say the perpetrator could have installed an additional card reader to steal card information. A key component is installing a spy camera or even having someone spying nearby. Cards are protected by a pin, which only the user knows. So in order to capture the pin, one of the easiest ways, there are many ways, one of the easiest ways is to look at what the user key in, and therefore the video camera or a third-party observer nearby comes into play. Even if your ATM card information is stolen, card skimming scams can't succeed without the pin number. This is why banks recommend customers shield the hand keying in the PIN number or changing it regularly. Typically for card skimming, there's a time lag between the cloning and the usage. And uh, what may, it, may, it, it could be deliberate because they, they know that you know, banks may keep the video recordings for only a certain period of time. And you know, customers may uh, not be, uh, may have forgotten when they use the ATM on the card. So, uh, if you change, if you make it a habit to change your PIN uh, regularly, then that will help to defeat the scammers. While experts concede that it's difficult for the average user to look out for signs of tampering at an ATM, what customers can probably do is take a closer look at the card insertion slot. Mr Tan said ATM screens could also show pictures of what a genuine card reader should look like as a warning to all ATM users.